What's up guys, CM back again with another advent calendar video for, the, for you today. Today we have the 50 TP prototype. This is the T8 Premium Polish Heavy Tank. And this actually might be worth it. Uh, because I actually had a really good time when 3 marking this thing. It's still a decent tank. And could be a good credit grinder as well actually from what I remember. And... Armor wise, I'm going to start there. It's actually pretty good. Uh, you do have a couple of weak spots. So, for example, your lower plate and the driver's hatch isn't that weak if pointed straight on. Uh, well, this part you can pen, but then these are pretty strong. And then, like the, you can see where the turret ring is, that's also pretty strong at this angle. However, what makes this tank weird when it comes to the weak spots is when you angle. Because of how the gun depression works in this tank, you often have to angle to get the most out of it. So, as we can see here, it says 10 degrees, right? But we don't have that directly over the front. So, to get that 10 degrees, your gun has to basically come to where this little joint is right here uh, to be able to depress fully. Otherwise, you're only going to get about 6 to 7 from what I remember. So... Keep that in mind, because what happens when you angle is you flatten out this part here. Now, the, the front part of the driver's hatch becomes pretty strong at that point, because you are angling it. But the rest of your turret ring becomes quite weak at that point. It does accentuate your lower plate, so that gets strengthened a little bit. Uh, so keep this in mind whenever you're playing this tank. Uh, if you are going to be using your gun depression, make sure when you're peeking any ridges like that, that you are staying hull down. Because people will just pen you here. And you can sort of side scrape in this thing, but I wouldn't recommend it. Mainly because, well, again, if you're doing normal side scraping, you're making the shoulders a lot worse. Uh, you could try reverse side scraping, uh, but the way that the turret is positioned, you're probably going to show this little section right here before you can shoot. So not a, it's not aimed at being a side scraper. It's aimed at being a fairly flexible hull, hull down ridge poker uh, with some turret armor. Now as for the turret armor, it's the same turret as the, well basically the same turret as the Tech Tree 53 TP. So in fact let's actually have a look at that just now. So we go into the 53 TP, we're just going to preview the vehicle. I've already 3 marked this, so I've already sold it. There we go, so as you can see, pretty much the exact same turret. Uh, however, on the 50 TP prototype, your cupola is a lot smaller than the 53 TP. So this thing is pretty strong hold down. There are some things that will go through your turret with premium, but most things will bounce. And we're really only talking about tier 10 tanks, for realistically speaking. And so you should be fine against most tanks that you face. Now, as for everything else, the view range on this thing is pretty good. 380 meters base view range. So you're able to spot for yourself pretty effectively with a decent crew, optics. I usually run food just to bump it that little further up, but you can spot for yourself without too much trouble. Your mobility is actually not too bad either. You can go all the way up to 35 km an hour and uh, forward and 14 in reverse. 14.17 power to weight. So it's not too bad. And again, like I say, gun depression is pretty good on this tank. As for the gun, the gun's a little bit of a weird one. So it's it's one of those where on on paper here, it looks like it would take forever to aim, but in my experience, it didn't, partially because of soft stats. I remember the soft, I think the soft stats in this thing are actually pretty decent, so you might not find that aiming is as big a problem. Uh, I also found that the RNG on this, thing, this gun was actually pretty good uh, when I 3 marked it, so when I was uh, snapshotting and not fully aiming, uh, this gun seemed to do pretty well at that. Even then, it doesn't take that long to aim in, and if we go into the field mods, you always have the option to speed up the aiming anyway, which uh, improves it by about 5%, so keep that in mind. Uh, depends how you want to 
to kit this tank out. And 440 alpha damage is pretty nice though, even at uh, tier 8. Well, we do actually have a few tanks that have this alpha damage now. The pen, however, is the bit that's slightly holding this back. 218 AP is not great, but if you're playing this tank right, you'll be engaging targets that you can pen with that first, and then you can use your APCR against heavier targets later. HE is pretty nasty on this as well. If you're fighting squishy tanks, 560 alpha damage for 68 pen. So that means you could two shot a Rheinmetall Scorpion or Rheinmetall Borsig without any trouble. Uh, as long as you average roll, of course. Uh, that is always the caveat here. Anyway, guys, I would say if you're looking for a, a trainer, like a, a premium tank to train your crew for the Polish heavies, this is good. This is a good tank. I actually really like this. I think it's pretty worth getting. Or even just a decent credit uh, maker. Because if we look at the cost of the shells, 880 credits for 440 alpha with the AP is not bad. So this thing, I found that this could grind credits pretty effectively. So yeah, this gets my... It's kind of worth it. Seal of approval. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Have you played this tank? And if so... What did you think of it? If you haven't played it, let me know if you decide to go for it. And otherwise, that's all for me, guys. Peace out.